Oyster farming is one of the main enterprises in the Japanese seafood industry, playing a vital part in the country's economic and culinary culture. To add insult to injury, oysters are not only a source of food that is rich in nutrients, but they are also a significant export product that helps contribute to the economic development of coastal areas. The cultivation of oysters in Japan has been going on for hundreds of years, and it is still evolving with several technological advancements that contribute to the enhancement of both productivity and product quality during this time. Over the course of ancient ages, the Japanese people have been aware of how to harvest and cultivate oysters in bays that are characterized by favorable conditions for oyster cultivation. In particular, the Hoshima region is recognized as one of the locations that has a legacy of oyster farming that dates back to the earliest times and continues to be the greatest oyster production hub in Japan. During the same time period as technology and science have advanced, oyster farming techniques have also achieved significant advancements, which have contributed to the optimization of the farming and harvesting process. The circumstances for the sustainable development of the oyster farming business in Japan have been created as a result of research on oyster biology, environmental conditions, and contemporary farming technologies. This is in response to the growing demand of both domestic and worldwide markets. A natural environment that is conducive to the growth of oysters and allows them to attain a high level of quality is necessary for oyster farming. Because of its extensive coastline and the good natural conditions that it possesses, Japan has emerged as one of the most perfect locations for oyster growing. Oysters prefer environments that are free of pollution, have strong currents, and are abundant in nutrients. These are all important factors that contribute to the development of oysters. There are four distinct seasons and seasonal temperature fluctuations in Japan, which make it a great environment for a wide variety of aquatic species, including oysters. Japan is located in a climate zone that is classified as temperate. Because of the suitable climate and terrain conditions, coastal regions including as Hiroshima, Miyagi, Saga, and Okayama are well known for their oyster farming. These regions are typically of a moderate depth, the seabed is covered with a layer of sediments that are rich in nutrients, and the temperature of the salt water ranges from 10 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is suitable for the growth of oysters at these depths. Oysters are able to grow and develop more quickly thanks to the abundance of natural food supplies that are carried by currents such as the Kuroshio and Tsushima. One of the most important factors that determines the growth and quality of oysters is the quality of the seawater. Conditions that are essential for the growth of oysters include salt water that is rich in oxygen, salinity that is consistent, and minimal levels of pollution. Oysters thrive in brackish water environments because the waters in Japan include a mixture of salt water from the ocean and fresh water flowing out of big rivers. An excellent environment for oysters is created by this combination. In addition to that, the movement of seawater is also of great significance. A regular and vigorous flow of water serves to supply sufficient oxygen and food, and it also helps to clean the oyster shells, which helps to avoid the growth of parasites. Nevertheless, marine pollution, particularly pollution resulting from waste from industrial and agricultural processes, has the potential to cause significant harm to the growth of oysters and to diminish the overall quality of the product. Japan is home to a wide variety of oysters that are revered all over the world for their excellence. The Pacific oyster, also known as Crassostria gigas, and the Japanese oyster, also known as Crassostria nippona, are the two types that are the most extensively cultivated and are responsible for the majority of the oyster production in Japan. Pacific oysters, which are often referred to as Miyagi oysters, are the oyster kind that is kept in the greatest quantity in Japan and throughout the world. This particular species was brought to Japan in the 1952nd, after having its origins on the shore of the Pacific Ocean. At the present time, the majority of oysters produced in Japan are Pacific oysters. This is particularly true in regions such as Hiroshima, Miyagi, and Saga. Pacific oysters are able to thrive in a diverse range of environmental circumstances, including seawater, brackish water, and cold water. They are able to adapt to all of these situations. Following approximately 18 to 24 months of culture, they are able to reach a size that is suitable for commercial use.
It is common practice in Japanese cuisine to make use of Pacific oysters, which are characterized by their huge shells, thick meat, and sweet flavor. These Japanese oysters, which are often referred to as Kumamoto oysters, are a species of oyster that is indigenous to Japan. Although they are smaller in size than Pacific oysters, Japanese oysters have a flavor that is all their own and are highly regarded in meals that are considered to be of a higher quality. The seas of the southwestern portion of Japan, particularly in the Saga and Kumamoto regions, are the primary locations where this oyster is cultivated. Japanese oysters have thinner shells and are smaller in size, yet the oyster meat has a smooth texture and a rich taste. They mature at a slower rate than Pacific oysters, typically requiring between two and three years to reach a size suitable for commercial use. When compared to other types of oysters, Japanese oysters are considered to be of a higher quality and have a higher market value. This is because their production is often lower. There are several more oyster types that are farmed in Japan on a smaller scale, such as the East Asian oyster, Crassostria ariacensis, and the inland sea oyster, Austria ajulis. These oyster varieties are in addition to the two prominent oyster kinds that were described above because they are also grown in Japan. Despite the fact that these types do not constitute a significant share of Japan's oyster farming sector, they make a contribution to the preservation of biodiversity and provide consumers with other options. The process of harvesting oysters is a significant and intricate one that calls for accuracy and attention in order to guarantee that the oysters harvested are of the best possible quality. Not only does this procedure entail harvesting oysters from farms or cages, but it also involves post-harvest processing steps such as sorting, washing, and storage of the oysters once they have been harvested. Listed below are the primary stages involved in the process of harvesting oysters in Japan. Choosing the right time to harvest oysters is a crucial component that plays a significant role in determining their quality and flavor. Oysters are often gathered during the winter months, which span from November to March, when the temperature of the salt water is at its lowest. As a result of the fact that oysters are able to gather more nutrients during this time, having meat that is thicker and tastes sweeter, this is the season in which oysters are of the highest quality. At various points throughout the farming process, producers are required to perform regular checks on the growth of oysters in order to ascertain the most suitable time to harvest them. Oysters are evaluated based on a number of factors, including their size, the thickness of their meat, and their overall health. A harvest that occurs too early can result in oysters that are not of the highest quality, while a harvest that occurs too late can result in a decrease in quality since the oysters begin to spawn and lose nutrients along the way. The methods and tools used for collecting oysters can vary depending on the oyster farming method that is used. The practice of harvesting from platforms is one of the more popular approaches. Specialized harvesting vessels are utilized by farmers in order to harvest oysters that are grown on ropes or hanging platforms. For the purpose of removing the oyster platforms or ropes from the water, these vessels are fitted with either a crane or a reel system. After that, the oysters are carefully removed from the platform or rope in order to guard against any damage to the shells or the meat of the oysters. Cage harvesting is yet another way of harvesting. The process of harvesting oysters that have been cultivated in cages typically involves removing the cages from the water. Either by hand or with the assistance of automated gear, these cages can be dragged up. After being transported to the ship or the shore, the oysters are detached from the cages after they have been delivered there. Furthermore, oysters can be collected by hand in locations that are classified as small or traditional oyster farming zones. This is accomplished by diving to the seabed or shallow water in order to pick the oysters directly. Oysters taken from the wild or oysters farmed in shallow water are frequently harvested using this technique. Oysters must be treated as soon as possible after they have been harvested, in order to maintain their quality and freshness. During the processing process, there are various processes that are very significant. Organizing is the first step. Oysters are classified based on size, quality, and shell condition. Oysters that are degraded or not up to standard are thrown away. In order to improve both accuracy and efficiency, the sorting procedure is frequently carried out with the assistance of contemporary machinery. Following that is the process of cleaning. Oysters are cleaned after they have been sorted, during which mud, algae, 
and creatures that are adhered to the shell are removed. Utilizing high-pressure washers or circulating water tanks is the typical method for doing this task. One way to ensure that oysters are in compliance with food safety and hygiene regulations is to thoroughly clean them. This also helps to improve the product's look. Now, we come to storage. Oysters are prepared for storage at the optimum temperature after they have been cleaned, in order to preserve their freshness. In order to prevent the meat from being dehydrated and to maintain its plumpness, oysters are often stored at a temperature ranging from 0 to 5 degrees Celsius and at a high humidity level. The packaging of oysters for the export market may involve the use of ice boxes or the transportation of the oysters by specialized cold trucks. Following the completion of the processing procedure, oysters will be delivered to processing plants, restaurants, or taken to other countries for export. It is imperative that the process of transportation be carried out in a timely manner and under temperature circumstances that are under control in order to guarantee that the oysters maintain their best quality and level of freshness. The majority of the time, oysters are delivered straight from the farm to seafood shops or restaurants in order to be sold on the domestic market. Oysters can be carried for export either by air or by water, depending on the distance involved and the conditions stipulated by the purchaser. Oysters are exported from Japan to a wide variety of countries all over the world, with the United States of America, China, and numerous European countries being among the most important markets. On the other hand, oysters are required to go through stringent quality and food safety checks before they can be sold on the market. The testing for drug residues, heavy metals, microorganisms, and an assortment of other harmful chemicals is included in these recommendations. There are stringent rules regarding food safety in Japan, and oyster farms are required to comply with these requirements in order to guarantee that oyster products are safe for people to ingest. Additionally, authorities conduct routine inspections of oyster farms to ensure that they are working in accordance with the standards governing cleanliness and the environment. Not only are oysters a significant seafood commodity in Japan, but they also play a significant part in the economy of both the country and the Japanese region. A significant amount of cash is generated by the oyster industry, which contributes to the growth of a great number of coastal settlements. This revenue comes from both internal consumption and exports. Of all the countries in the world, Japan is one of the largest consumers of oysters. In addition to being a delicacy, oysters are an essential component of a wide variety of meals, both traditional and contemporary. In addition to a wide variety of other hot pot cuisines and sushi, oysters can be prepared in a variety of ways, including raw oysters, kaki, grilled oysters, kakiyaki, fried oysters, kaki fry, and many others. There is a significant demand for restaurants that specialize in oysters in major cities such as Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto, particularly during the winter months when oysters are at their peak consumption. Consumers can also purchase oysters from retail stores and seafood markets, which are also major players in the distribution process.